Okay, we have another one. We're going to find the intercepts and asymptotes. This time we're also going to add in uh, the domain. So here is our original equation. Uh, whenever you do these, it's always best to first factor top and bottom to make sure you can't cancel anything out because sometimes some of these you may have to do some kind of canceling. Uh, so for this, if we factor it, we do difference of squares in the top, 1 minus x, 1 plus x, and then the bottom here we can factor that one as well. And we get x and x here, and then we're going to do 2 and 3, both of them are going to be negative. And we notice here that nothing is going to cancel out, so we're okay, we can continue on with the rest of this. So for x-intercept, what you're going to do is, again, you're going to set the, the top equal to 0. So we'll do the top equals 0, you're going to do 1 minus x and 1 plus x, that's going to equal 0. And you're going to get that x is equal to plus or minus 1. So right here, we're going to put plus or minus 1. Next thing we want to do is the y-intercept. Okay, y-intercept is where you set the x equal to 0. So if we do that, we're going to put zeros in for this. We can even use the original one or we can use the factored version. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll do the, the original one. 0 squared minus 5 times 0 plus 6. We get 1 sixth when we put zeros in, everything else is going to cancel. So 1 sixth is going to go here. Now we want the vertical asymptote. Okay, vertical asymptote, the VA, that's where you're going to set the bottom one equal to zero. And here's the bottom one right there. It's x minus 2, x minus 3, that's going to equal zero. So when you set it equal, you get x is equal to 2, and also you get x is equal to 3. So we're going to write both those out, x equals 2, x equals 3. Those are your two vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptote is always the bottom one set equal to 0. For the horizontal asymptote, this one is using the rules. So the rules that we talked about in the notes, you're looking for the highest power on top, the highest power on the bottom. In this case, the highest power on top is uh, a 2, highest power on the bottom is also a 2. So that means that we're going to use our rule number 2 that says that if your n is equal to m, the highest power on top is the same as the highest power on the bottom. What you do is you're going to divide the numbers that come in front of each of those coefficients. In this case, there's a negative 1 that comes in front of there, and there's a 1 in the bottom. So negative 1 over 1 is going to give you negative 1. So therefore, your horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals negative 1. So the work for that, basically, again, you just have uh, y equals negative 1 over 1, that's your leading coefficient of the top one, that's negative 1, goes here, the bottom one is going to be 1, that goes there, so that's where we get y equals negative 1 from. The last thing they want us to do is they want to state the domain. The domain is actually going to go along with your vertical asymptotes. Wherever you have a vertical asymptote, that number is not allowed in your domain because you end up dividing by 0. So both these places here, basically your domain is going to be all real numbers, not including 2, not including 3. Typically, you want to write this out with interval notation. So the way that would work is you're going to include everything before 2, everything between 2 and 3, and everything after 3 is allowed. So here's what it would look like. Negative infinity to 2, and then from 2 to 3, and then the union there, not a comma. And then we're going to have from 3 to infinity. Everything before the 2 is okay. Between 2 and 3 is okay. After 3 is okay. It's just that we're not including 2 and 3 itself, and that's why we have parentheses on both of those. That would be your domain. So again, domain always goes along with your vertical asymptotes. Wherever the vertical asymptotes are, those numbers are not included in your domain. That's why they're not included down here.